Hello, welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. During deep drilling operations, you must always have the entire borehole filled with drilling mud with special properties to ensure that no gas can enter into the borehole. But sometimes there can be surprises deep down in the earth and an unexpected gas influx can occur in spite of careful mud management. When that happens, this is called a kick. When you have such a kick in the borehole, it can become very dangerous for the drilling crew. Therefore, the first measure is to activate the blower preventer from this control panel as you can see here. The borehole is then safely closed at the surface. However, the problem is not gone as the gas is still in the hole and continues rising up slowly in the drilling mode. As the gas bubble rises, it carries the pressure from the bottom of the hole upwards and causes the pressure in the entire hole to increase. The tool pusher must take note of the pressure as it increases in the hole. Sooner or later, it has to take measures to relieve the pressure and prevent the damage of the borehole. A borehole that contains gas is like this bottle of mineral water that's been shaking vigorously. If you suddenly open it up, you get a spill like this. Now we do not want this to happen. So you have to open the bottle very slowly and carefully to ensure everything is under control. This is exactly what we have to do on the pressurized borehole. So the blower preventer is connected to a choke line which leads to an array of valves and this is called the choke manifold. These valves are used to carefully control the release of gas up to a point where they can be fled and it won't hurt anyone. But that is not the end. You could see earlier that as we released the gas in the bottle, we lost some water. This is the same way it happens on the rig. So when you use the choke line to release the kick, we have to replenish what we have lost in the borehole with the drilling mud. To do this, use a second line connected to the blower preventer called the Q line, through which you can pump in fresh mud into the hole. And when this is done, you bring the process under control again. This sounds so simple, but it's quite complex and difficult in detail. This is why the tool pusher, who is responsible for the well, must regularly go to a drilling school to prove with simulators that he's able to handle such dangerous situations. And only those who pass this exam can get the special IWCF certificate and get certified as specialists in deep drilling operations. So, if you want to know exactly how a live well is killed, this is the term we use. Then come to our lecture, Drilling Engineering 1. We look forward to seeing you in Freiburg. Glück auf!